peer pressure or career choice now. Extremely honored to hear such an eminent and renowned personalities. They share an interesting concept that sometimes it is okay to be not okay, which inspires me a lot. The sole motive of the seminar was to tell that being failed is okay and being judged is also fine. What mattered is again standing up, gathering courage and starting a new journey which would lead to success. Two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference, wrote Robert Frost, the renowned American poet. And now, Amrita Vishwa Vidya Bhidam, Center for Nanosciences and Molecular Medicine, came up with the national webinar, enlightening us on the booming careers of science in the post-COVID era and instilling in us the confidence to seek the road less traveled. The marvelous and sublime panel made us comprehend we need to follow our passions and dreams and not to worry as to how the society would judge if you are not opting for the conventional medical or engineering courses. The towering personalities before you might make you fumble, but we were made to realize smaller ones are more powerful and potent. With the typical scientific examples, which gave us a renewed vision on careers. Even we can do our part. It was an eye-opener to hear Dr. Sonia Basu say, success is not the key to happiness, but happiness is the key to success. We could also discern the key qualities we need to reach success. Our focus, passion, hard work, persistence, a positive attitude. The SWOT analysis mentioned by Dr. Sisini Shashidharan went deep into us. Yes, we need to realize our S strength, W weakness, O opportunity, and T threats while making a career choice. It was indeed a relief to hear Srimati Rekha Ben state that it really is okay to be not okay. Dr. John Joseph, Dr. Krishna Radhakrishnan, and Dr. Chaitanya Kuduri inspired us with the stories of their life, filled with hurdles, yet how they jumped across it and finally emerged victorious only through sheer hard work and determination. Frankly speaking, many of us never knew the career options post-COVID era was like a Pandora's box until Dr. Shanti Kumar V. Nair educated us. We were introduced to the existence of various careers in multifarious fields like molecular medicine, medical imaging, photonics, etc. In health center, molecular-based nano-tracking, crime identification in forensic science division opportunities in energy and environment sector due to the impacts of climate change and scope for manufacture of explosive detective smart sensors in national security divisions. IPR, think tanks, journalism and scientific writing are all, we are informed, great openings for us. No more confusions on peer pressure on career choice now. It is not the crowd campaign that should rule our passions. We need to have the right attitude. Research the career option that suits and interests us. Look into the SWOT aspects and above all, ensure that it brings us happiness. Thank you. Namaskar, myself Taksh Khankar and today I am going to tell you about highlights and the learning outcome of the session held today. The webinar was very informative. Experienced panel of doctors were telling about their roadmap to success. It all started with introduction to nanoscience. Nanoscience is study of particles at molecular level. The 
to list the uses and a possible career in nanoscience. How nanoscience is changing lives. Small robots are being invented which when injected in body treat different diseases and then get digested without affecting the body. After that, the panel shared their experience and how they tackled obstacles and failures throughout their lives. Through their successful career in medical science, they indirectly gave vital information of how to choose career and be successful in any field. They shared a roadmap to success and how to invest time wisely. The sole motive of the seminar was to tell that being failed is okay and being judged is also fine. What mattered is again standing up, gathering courage and starting a new journey which would lead to success. Om Namah Shivaya. I am Shudhanjali Baik of class 11B of Amrita Vidyalaya. Recently, I got an opportunity to join the national webinar on booming careers in science organized by Amrita Center of Nanoscience and Molecular Medicine. The whole webinar is focused on how we can achieve success in life and they share an amazing recipe or we can say the method for the same. I am extremely honored to hear such an eminent and renowned personality. They share an interesting concept that sometimes it is okay to be not okay which inspires me a lot. As a student, when we come from class 10 to class 11, it is very difficult for us to take the right decision for our future. But this webinar gave me the right perception and helps me to explore my potential. The event also witnessed the launch of Stop Following the Crowd hashtag campaign, which tells us that don't go with crowd, follow your passion, do whatever that makes you happy. Because happiness is all that matters in life. They introduced various fastest growing and highest paying careers in science, which gave us an idea that there are various opportunities available in our life. But we have to work hard to take advantage of these opportunities. At last, I want to thank all the celebrated speakers for giving their valuable guidance and sharing their own experiences which stimulated me and gave me the right path for achieving my goals. Thank you.